Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and this might be the end of Adam Schiff in the House of Representatives. Folks, before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. On Thursday, Florida Republican Representative Anna Paulina Luna introduced a measure that would remove Adam Schiff from Congress. Now, she said that he repeatedly lied to the American people about Russian collusion, the Trump involvement, cost the taxpayers millions of dollars, and is a disgrace to the House of Representatives. Miss Luna, I couldn't say it better myself. So this morning, I took the liberty of going ahead and making a supercut video of all the different times, not actually not all the different times, just some of the different times, Adam Schiff claimed that he had direct knowledge, direct knowledge and proof and evidence of Russian collusion. You'll notice a theme here, though. When he's questioned about his evidence, he can't disclose that. He can't talk about it. And you're going to find that theme as you watch this video. Let's take a look. But we do know this. The Russians offered help. The campaign accepted help. The Russians gave help. And the president made full use of that help. And that is pretty damning, uh, whether it is proof beyond a reasonable doubt of conspiracy or not. Do you know of any instance where the Russians said, we're going to do it this way, we're going to do it through WikiLeaks, we're going to do it through DC Leaks, this is how we're going to get this information out there? I can't comment. Uh, that is an issue that we have been investigating, uh, and I don't want to comment at this point or not what the state of that evidence is. i got to ask you something that you said also to me on Sunday, is that you took, you thought that at the time former uh, Director of National Intelligence James Clapper was too definitive when he said no evidence of collusion um, at the time that he served through January, essentially January 20th uh, of this year. Um, what basis can you feel confident saying that that the Director of National Intel that the Director of National Intelligence oversold something? Well, look, I don't think it was uh, deliberate on the director's part, uh, but all I can tell you is. Um, reviewing the evidence that I have, um, I don't think you can conclude that at all. Uh, far from it. Uh, and but, I think. But you admit uh, that, it's uh, a circum. All you have right now is a circumstantial case. Uh, actually, no, Chuck. Uh, I, I can tell you that the case is more than that, uh, and I can't go into the particulars. But there is more than circumstantial evidence now. So, um, again, I think. So you Director have Clapper, seen direct evidence of collusion. Uh, I don't want to go into specifics, but I will say that there is evidence that is not circumstantial uh, and, uh, and is very much worthy of investigation. So uh, We will be putting together a report that will set out uh, for the country what evidence we have seen to date, uh, what evidence we have seen in terms of the Russian hacking and dumping operation, what evidence we have seen in terms of the Russian social media campaign, their paid media campaign, uh, and yes, the issue of collusion with the Trump campaign. There is significant evidence, much of it in the public domain, on the issue of collusion. Yeah, the reason he can't talk about it right now, and he still can't talk about it right now, is because it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Robert Mueller found it didn't exist. Durham found it didn't exist. But Adam Schiff mysteriously still has it. He still has still holding it. I, I, we don't know why he won't just show us this direct evidence. The, the world's been asking for it, Mr. Schiff. Where is it? Where's the direct evidence? So this measure to get him removed from Congress, it actually might work because Speaker McCarthy actually is supporting removing him from Congress. And he said so this week. He said he's floating, he's basically floating the idea. He didn't say he's going to do it, but he's floating the idea of doing it. Adam Schiff has abused his position. He has abused his power. He has abused trust of his constituents and of the people of the United States of America. And he's done it for far too long, all because of his vendetta against one man. It's ridiculous. And it is time he's removed from Congress. Folks, I want to thank you again for joining us here today. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.